I thank God. Because I've had the grace to stand in front of you. Uh, people who are honorable. Uh, people who are great. That God sends his word to. And it takes time talking to us so that life will be created in you. Glory be to his name. Uh, we are in the book of Samuel. Uh, do we have visitors? Uh, please bear with us. We've been reading First Samuel. And it means that we'll be referring to that book. And please uh, also get to hear and know because that probably you might not have read it. But uh, the stories there are known most of the time. Hannah uh, who didn't have a child for long. Someone who was a child who dwelt in the house of God. Soul who failed to walk with God. There are stories that many people know. So there, that's where we are. The whole year we are in the good deeds of the redeemed. But that doesn't prevent the fact that this month we are subtopic we are having a subtopic uh, that leads to obedience to God, the voice of God, working with God, uh, obeying that voice in serving God. So here we go. Imana ntabwo tuyikorera itwinginga. We do not serve God with him begging us. God is not desperate because he's short of labor. God is not desperate because he lacks workers. Because whatever he wants, he takes it. Even the people he needs, he will find them. But when he asks us to serve him, he's giving us an opportunity. It's a privilege. Please remember this is giving you a privilege. And when you come, when you go, when you go, whether you hear me and we walk together, we can save people. Amen. If you allow me, you, if you allow me, and hear me and come, people will be saved. One will save them through the word and another one through praying for them and another one through feeding them another one who will be clothing them and for some it will be making them comfortable in church for them to feel and another one serves planning the programs of the church for and another one serves uh, taking care of the children so that the parents can have their time and there will be another one who will have the burden and say in the church there are people who do not have information about the church and they go to information desk. I just mentioned a few. When God says, come, let's go, he says, will you watch this for me? Please come and partner with me. Can I go through you, give you my thought about that very thing? Will you please listen to me and I will tell you the thought I had about that work? Will you allow me then at night to tell you the things that you have to put in line? Will you allow Allow me to even tell you through other people. God, when he says, do this for me, it is not because he's short of people. It is not because he's short of people. It's a privilege, it's an opportunity he's giving you.
I praise God the Father of us. That many of you know this by now. When I got saved, I didn't know that. And I got to know that later. Everyone who serves God. And who knows the person who has given them a job. Who the person is serving. That person is blessed. And whatever that they do is blessed. God calls them. And then he goes and follows and protects what he gives them. He says, follow me. And then he will go back and protect what he owns. And the burden of that person is the burden of God. The joy of that person is the joy of God. God will take care of your enemies. He will take care of your friends. And he will bless those who bless you. And he will be angry with those who curse you. That is for all people who serve God. The one who knew who they are serving, whatever you are doing, wherever you are working, the most important is this. You got the revelation of who you are working for. And you understood that it's a privilege you've been given. It's not because you're more than others. It's not because you're wiser than others. There are some people who say that God has not called the qualified but he qualifies those he has called. So do not look at us as if we are experts. That we are wise in whatever we are doing. I tell you the truth. Before God I serve. Day and night. I'm always asking for directions. I'm asking him what to do. I'm asking him, are you with me in what I'm going to do? Is it the way you want it? Is it the way you planned it? If it is not this way, but I've been carried, I felt that I'm going to do it in a way or another. Please make me keep quiet. Please quiet my heart. May what you want go out. And may what I want go down silent. Yes, Hashim. Praise Jesus. Bibiria, the Bible is full of it is full of uh, sentences. It is full of principles. It is full of the laws of God. It is full of ways that are there to awaken you, you and I. So that it might tell you where the danger lies. The Bible is full of examples. It is full of stories. There is the word. And there is the truth. The truth that is there to tell you and I that when you do this you're blessed but when you do the other way you're not blessed and because I'm your God because I want you to be blessed I'll tell you the way to go and if you accept you'll be blessed yes, praise Jesus amen, amen. The salvation we received is based on the relationship we have with Jesus. It is dependent on the relationship we have with Jesus and the information we share. The communion and relationship you have with God. When I talk about the communion, it is not just to lock yourself in a room praying. Even here you came for fellowship. And why you are talking husband and wife, you're in fellowship and God is there. When your heart is awakened to build your relationship with God, you will know the information of what protects you. You have information of what is attacking you. You have the information of the good things that can edify your soul. Let me close this introduction. Jesus said, work for eternal food. Seek the way you can work for food that will last to eternal life. What is it? 
Say, do not work for things that are fleeting. In other words, in this life we live, there are things that are temporal. There are things that are temporary that will go. And it will not accompany you the day you have closed your dream. There are things as you live day after day, there are things that will not be remembered. There are things that are written nowhere. But Jesus has said, work for things that are eternal. Work for food that is eternal. The one that will go and speak into eternal life. The one that will go before you in eternal life and speak on your And he explained, say, do you know what that food is? It is what you'll be given by the Son of God. And he was speaking about himself. He's the one who has been established, given all authority. In other words, he was talking about the word of God. He meant that people will not live on bread only. He meant that people will not live on the good things of this world only. He wanted to say that people will live on the bread word of God. He wanted to say that there are things that will not sustain you. There are things that will make you joy. And there are things that will make you sad in this there life. There are things that will become a hard thing in this life. There are things that will be difficult for you in this life. But do not worry. Do not be afraid. There are things that will not last forever. But seek that which will last forever. Together with with what is difficult for you, together with what makes you cry, together with all the hardships of life, do not be distracted. Do not be distracted. There are things that will last forever. The Lord be praised. Samuel, First Samuel. Uh, Pastor Olivier has prayed for me. Has prayed for the word. And it's enough. Let us now seek the bread of life. Praise Jesus. Samuel. Uh, First Samuel. Um, chapter two, verse twelve. Nje gusome bizandi siko bita tu bikuri chana ni bito bito anjuma. I will read three small scriptures and then I will take it from there. Kandi bene eri bari bigoryi. Nti bari bazi uwiteka. Samuel wa mbere gatatu karindwe. Ariko Samuel yarataramenya uwiteka. Kandi atarahishurirwa ijambo ryi. Abagaratiya kane rimwe kabiri. Ariko ndavuga yuko umuragwa iyakira umwana atagira aho atandukaniye n'imbato nubwo yaba ari nyiri bintu byose ahubwo hagata aho abategekwa nabamurera nibisonga kugeza igihe cyategetswe nase the bible says now the sons of Eli were corrupt they did not know the lord that is first samuel chapter 2 verse 12 and uh, first Samuel chapter three verse seven, Bible says, "Now Samuel did not yet know the Lord, nor was the word of the Lord yet revealed to him." Galatians chapter four verse one to two. Now I say that the heir, as long as he is a child, does not differ at all from a slave, though he is the master of all, but is under guardians and stewards until the time appointed by the father. Yes, Praise Jesus. Those three words are related. Those three passages are centered around knowing God. Knowing God. Receiving what is yours. One time comes. The first we are told that you have read about the sons of Eli that they were corrupt, they were fools. Why were they fools? For the Bible to 
tell to say that people are fools. They did not know the Lord. And yet they were serving the Lord. They were living in the house of God. They were placed there by God. Listen to me. Do not think that they, they cheated their way into the service. Do not think that they are the people who came to the house of God through windows, not through the gate. Do not think that they were after titles and sought the way to have titles. The word of God, the laws of Moses, the laws of Moses, they had confirmed that the, the, the family of uh, uh, Levites will be the ones serving God as priests. Now understand that those people had the legal right to serve in that Bari position. They were in the position that God accepts. They were in a position that God sees them and approves them. It's very easy to think that people have um, damaged things because they have cheated their way into the Do not deceive yourself. You might damage things, yet you're in your rightful position. They were in the right position, and that position had been spoken of by God, that were giving that position by God. But the Bible says that they were foolish. Why were they foolish? One word. They did not know the Lord. And the Bible calls them foolish. I want to ask you. In the morning I told people here, that God has helped me. I was going to call this message the foolish people who serve in the house of God. But I found that people were going to be offended at that time. And then I added, can you serve a God that you do not know? The Bible will call you a fool. It is the Bible who says that. that. And the word that was written by God, serving a God that you do not know, it's foolishness. May God help us. May he help me. And may he help you. What does this mean? Before everything, before serving God, God has conditions he requires for those serving him. Know the God you're serving. Know well. Seek to know the God you're serving. Know what he wants and know what he loves. Know what is related to the position he has given you. Seek to know. Say seek. Do you know why I tell you seek? Because many children of God, they do not seek. We do not seek. We do not love that effort. We do not seek to know God. We just want to we just want to go there. But serving God in his, his house and any work you do and you know that that work was given to you by God it is not done the same way you served your earthly master somewhere else. It's not like any job you did somewhere else. You don't just behave like you behave in other places. This God is not short of workers. He's short of workers who do what he said. That's why the sons of Eli, their foolishness was not knowing God. They're there. They're serving him. But no instruction, no wisdom, they do not know the God they're serving. They do not know what he said. They do not know what he wants. And I'm asking you, asking myself to, in our ministry, because today we are the priests. Today. You need to ask God and come close to God. Say, these things that you have trusted me with and you made me a nation, you made me the leader of the youth, you have placed me in the youth committee. Tell me what you want. 
I'm praying. Tell me, how do you want it? Everything you do. Knowing that it was given to you by God. Give it a manual. It has a manual. Give it, a it has a manual of instruction. Of the way you have to work. Please clap for Jesus. Every single thing. If you want to do it your way. Just put aside the manual. Just take God out of it. And then do it your way. But do not say that you're serving God. Do not say that you're obeying God. Do not say that the work you're doing was given to you by God. And then you don't ask him to tell you what he wants. That God. He's not worried about the people who give money to. I tell you that he made Joseph great and Joseph had a great faith. He had so many people can give money to. Now working for money and amassing money is getting money. It's good. But do not think that you're serving God in that work when you have taken God out of the equation. Am I saying the truth? Of the yes, that's the truth. It's bitter, but it's the truth. That's the truth. As we're serving God, as we recognize that He has given us a gift, as we recognize that He gave us things, either you place Him there or you take Him out of it. Do not deceive Him that He's there. And yet you're not asking Him about the manual of instruction or the book of the law. It also applies to me where I'm standing. Omega was spoken of by Jesus Omega when I was not there. there. It was in God's thought before he asked me for permission. Saying that he wants to create disciples, that he wants to prepare his bride. I knew nothing about that. Now here I am in it. And then I do as if I'm the center of it all. I behave as someone who knows everything. May God forgive me and may he forgive you where you are. There is a manual of instruction. And if you ask for advice and guidance, he will tell you what he thought of. Let us not be foolish. Let us not serve a God who do not know. Let us take time to know him. Even if you are given a drop somewhere, you need to add this. Say, God, I thank you for the position I'm into. I thank you because you cause people to think about me. Now, if it is you, and if I recognize that, let us go. Reveal to me. What were you thinking about? What is the new thing I'm bringing to this scene? What is it that I'm bringing to this team? What is it that I'm bringing to this church of Christ? What am I bringing you? That thing that was on your heart that you have given me. They were fools. What does it Show us. You, 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 you read the things they were doing. Meat. And when the fat was still on it, just take it out. Hopefully, and Phineas, that's what they were saying. On the altar, they were in the house of God looking for their own interests. The house of God was there for their interest. In the house of God, it was there for their interest. And they did evil sins. You have seen that. And their foolishness. It showed that they did not know the person who placed them there. And they did not know who placed them there their behaviors and what they did that's what shows us that they were fools as I was reading this I was surprised that sometimes I can relate to this praise Jesus because it's very easy to get used to God and you think that you know him and yet he wants you to know him on every single thing please beloved 
I beg you that my work for food that is eternal. Work for what is eternal. Otherwise there are other things that are not recorded anywhere in heaven. That are not recorded anywhere in heaven. And yet you have worked, you have toiled, you have sweated, you have spent sleepless nights. But God is saying, do we agree on this? In reality, did we agree on this? May God help us and take away the foolishness. Second, they did not know God. Now, the Samuel we read about, because Samuel did not know God. Now, what was the difference? You have seen that Samuel did not yet know the Lord. Now, you need to study the Bible. What's the difference? Samuel, Samuel when he was born and when he opened his yes, eyes he found his parents they had put him in the house of God someone when he got to know where he was his eyes were looking at Eli Eli when he was growing up, his mother and father, he would see them once in a year when they would take a robe that was his size. But he was living with Eli. Eli, Eli as a priest, was training that young man. He knew that he was training that man. And the young man knew that he had to listen to Eli. Now, Paul wrote to Galatians that the master of things, when he's still a child, he's under the tutorship of a steward and guardians until to the appointed time. Let God make you rise at the appointed time. Whatever you're doing, where you've been placed, let you should be uh, educated. May you know, may you understand that where you are, until the time appointed by heaven, and then you go to do what is yours. I have so much to say here. In all areas, the, the, the prodigal son, he left before the right time. Even in businesses. Even at work. Even in simple businesses. Wait for God. He will give you what is yours. To designate what is the right time. And you'll see that. Please clap for Jesus. Praise Jesus. What do I want to say here? Samuel was at the feet. Just like Hophni and Phineas were at the feet of their father. Why did all learn at the same feet, but some learned others didn't? May the Holy Spirit teach you. You can be in the same class, some learn, others do not. Yes. You know, some people might be in the same class, some listen, others do not. Somewhere, Somewhere time came, Eli, Eli told him now, the voice of God is coming Hallelujah. to you. Hallelujah. Now, God will start speaking to you directly. Let me teach you the school of Eli. Listen to me. In the house of God, when people are new, uh, when they have just received Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, the school of Eli is very needed and important. That school of Eli, 
Kurinde kwa Anania na Barinabu. That's where the apostle Paul learned from Ananias yes. and Barnabas. Yes. Nije mudasoma Biblia mujye mureka tuyibabwire twa isome. And when you do not understand let us tell you because we have Hara hanu hambere wigira. There is somewhere you have to Hara learn. Hano wigira ho. Someone you have to learn from. Ntabwo iteka bo mushumba. It is not always a past. Ntabwo iteka ashobora kuba bashumba. It is not always past. Ashobora kuba mwigishwa mwiza nkanani yoshimwa nima. It can be a good disciple like Ananias who is a Ashobora kuba mwigishwa mwiza nka barinaba ushimwa nima. Can be a good disciple like Barnabas who is approved umuntu, by God but it is someone uba hafi yawe who is close to you ukubwira uko basenga who tells you how to pray ukubwira uko baziriza who tells you how to fast bakundwa nje nibuka nje kizwa I remember when I got saved umuntu umwe witwa Rosa Rosa Imani muho mugisha kwa Someone called Rose God bless her where she is yari mukuru w'umuntu witwa Penina twigeze gusenga She was the sister of someone called Penina we were praying together she came to me aranga ngo rero y'umuntu akijijwe and told me when you have Kani got saved sengera gahamu and yet we are not in the same ngo rimwe mu cyumwe rugomba kugira igihe cyo kwiriza say once in a week you need to have a time to fast and i didn't know why it was written ariko ndakubwiza ukuri but i tell you the truth yangiriye neza she did good to me kuko iyo gikizwe because when you have just got saved ibintu bakubwiye byose iyo ufite inyota urabikora when you have the thirst you do all the things you're told ati kandi uje uyiririza ubugingo and you say you need to fast for your soul no kwiriza usaba ibintu not for material things yaramfashije She really helped me. Ugurumva nawe ifite pastor ariko wowe yabaye uwa mbere umbwira ibyo. You know I had a pastor but she was the first to tell me that. Ishuri rya Eli. The school of Eli. Class ya Eli. The class of Eli. Niyo Apollo yagiye kwigamo kwa Priscilla na Kwira. Is the one Apollos one two into Priscilla and Aquila's house. Hari abantu bibanze bambere. There are some people who are preliminary. Bagufasha kumenya ABC yo mugakiza. Who need to tell you the ABC of salvation? Ndavuze mpagaza. I tell you standing here. Nibuzi neza kutagira ni ugikizwe umaze umwaka umwe ibiri ukabuzi kutagira umuntu w'umwigishwa mwiza cyangwa abashumba bawo baza ngo tumubonane If you've been saved uh, like one year two years ago and you know that you do not have a good disciple you learn from or you do not speak to your pastors I plead with you in the name of Jesus If there is one bad thing that can be there is to skip that school ndabibabwiye muzabibwira abantu bose you tell, tell this to anyone umu Christ wasimbutse iryo shuri a Christian who has skipped that school umu Christ warenze iryo shuri ryibanze a Christian who has skipped that preliminary class arafunika they struggle ashobora kwibwira ko yigeze mu mwaka wa gatandatu wa primaire kiri mu wa mbere they might think that they in primary 6 yet they are in primary 1 kubera ko aho ngaho niho wiga ibyambere because that's why you learn the basics kubirenge bya Eli at the feet of Eli niba ufite abashumba mu itorero rubamo and if you have pastors in the church you are into sanga abashumba ba please go to your pastors sanga abashumba go to your pastors bagishina ask them for advice and guidance. ask questions that you do not understand what is uh, troubling children no, of God is deceiving themselves that they oh, know no friend. Oh, friend no friend oh, uzi ibyo gukora mu kigo runaka probably know how to work in Eko a certain organization but in the house of God the journey in salvation you do not know it Harguzi you do not know it iyo tagiye kubirenge and when you're not at the feet ugira umuntu ukubwira ngo siko bagira and have someone telling you that's not how it happens haturani gutya this is how you confess hano turabyigisha mu ishuri gitwa M1 here we teach it in a class called M1 ariko harabaza muri M1 bamaze imyaka ine barakijijwe but there, those who come to M1 have been been saved for umuntu taramenye step 1 but if you have not known the first step umuntu tarigeze agira umuntu umubwira ngo suko bagira ni gutya basenga barya ijambo ry'Imana ni utarigeza bigira If you have not had people who tell you this is how you pray this is how you read the word you struggle Mu gitondo nabwiye abantu In the morning I told people Muzi abantu basimbuka bene iryo shuri You know people skip that class Nubu ndabivuga nda I'm saying it here from the pulpit Ejo bundi twakira abantu 67 na 7 bashaka ku join ingo mega ngo tugendane mu mpereye samaje Recently we welcome 76 70, 67 people want to join Omega Church Tukwa babwiye ukuri kose And we told them all the truth Tukabigisha no mutima wacu And we teach with all our hearts Ariko mbabwira ikintu tutabakorera But let me tell you what we cannot do Someone who has just known Jesus 
have a half Ananiya. And they are not close to Ananias. Not close uh, at the feet of the line. Not half a Barnabas. Not have someone who will tell them how you do in the house of God. They get lost. They become rebels. They become rebels and it's not their choice. Their hearts are hardened. And even what comes next, they might not get it. Because from the beginning, they have not been trained to be able to fit. They've not been trained that there are people who are advanced more than him. Yes, Ashim. Praise God. Let me tell you. I, I have said these are the categories that can fall there. Since I got saved in 88, I've seen people getting saved and they do not sit at the feet of the pastors. They do not sit at the feet of good disciples. Who are those? People who are full. Let me tell you. They have enough most of them, not everyone of course but a heart that is having enough when you have food to eat and you have Enough to and you are in a good relationship with the husband. You're living well with your wife. Kazi. You have a job. You get a salary. Those people are mere. Among those, some of those, there are those who do not get humble to other disciples. I tell you the truth. Why? There is something that comes up. Because those who are advanced, who know the word of God more than you, you have something more than they do. Those who know the truth better than you, those who can train you in that way, you have more than they do. There are people that you should be uh, sustaining. You have a job they do not. You are well dressed and they are not well dressed. I'm talking the truth, please clap for Jesus. I'm talking the truth, the whole truth. From 88, that class is, has people who do not get humble. And that is because of the social status. They have people who are well placed, uh, high positions in governments. Now sitting at the feet of a pastor who has not gone to school where what is? And yet you want to school. Anyone following me? Am I talking the truth? I'm telling the truth. The devil attacks those people. Because of who they are. And they are still looking with the world view. Being broken. Being humble. Those who have something that you do not. It becomes difficult. And yet the spirit that attacks them. They do not even know it. Are we together? Those who have enough social, social status, some of them, they fail to humble themselves. They fail to sit at the feet of Eli. They fail to sit at the feet of those who brought them, probably someone who does not have a job or who are in difficult life. Praise Jesus. As I was preparing this word, I remember the people uh, I was with when I got saved. My pastor was working at Rwandex and myself. We were the ones who had a good job then. Others, they were day workers. Uh, working for wages, uh, construction sites, but let me tell you the they truth. They were full of the word of God. They were full of the wisdom of God. As I was preparing today, I remember It requires a broken heart to sit with people uh, that you are going to buy a shirt for tomorrow. Tomorrow you give them milk. <laughs> 
ugaca bugufu kemera ko bafite icyo udafite and you do get humble because you know that they have something that you yes, do not yes they have something that you do not ufite amafaranga bafite imana you have money they have god ufite akazi bafite imana you have a job they have god utaha mu rugo rwa papa na mama nta amafaranga uriha nta muri ruriha nta kintu uriha ariko bo bafite imana you have you go to dad and mom's house you do not pay anything but they have god. God. it requires you to be Kujira humble who is it takes humility for Umu someone who has to come someone who has a great position yemere kutarize to accept that someone who did not go to yemere ko umuntu muri societe utazwi someone who is not known in the society afite ubutunza murusha that they have some wealth that they do not have nshuti zanje my friends nshuti z'umusaraba mm, friends of the cross abo dufatanije urugendo those we are in this journey with dukizwe let us be saved kandi mujye mubyigisha abantu and you need to teach this to people abantu bakomeye people who are poor abantu bihagije people who have enough mubyigisha please teach them reka mbabwire kategori ya kabiri let me give you a second category murumirwa you will be surprised iyo nayo niko bimeze that's also a category abantu bafite ibikomere people who are wounded abantu bakomerekejwe nubuzima people have been wounded by life abantu isi yakandamije people that this world has oppressed kandi kibabaje and the sad thing sibo bahisemo gukandamiza they do not choose to be oppressed sibo they do not choose it's this it's just happened to them it just happened to them baba bakene and they were poor barasonza and they were hungry barabura and they lacked barachena and they were poor barakandamizwa nabantu and they were oppressed by people it's just happened to them it's just and a tragedy has come Abo bana those people bamwe some of them bamwe some of them iyo mibabaro when those suffering batayijanye ku musaraba when they do not take it to the cross ngo bayihe yesu and give it to jesus ihinduka ikibazo it becomes a problem ibi kibazo kubana it becomes a problem for others bizera. they do not trust anyone ntawe bakunda they do not love anyone ntacho bemera they do not accept anything ntawe bumva they do not listen to anyone mundi bayabo because deep inside them, there is something what haven't i seen what is it that i do not know this is how it ends and that's how that ends pain my friends if you have pain when you cry when you have something that has oppressed you please call on heaven so that it might not become a wound that stings so that it does not become something that affects other people because those people they are not broken they trust themselves they make themselves experience they think they experience i have seen so much i have been hungry and i have gone hungry that day and i have had shoes that are lost what can those people tell me those rich people umubabaro pain nshuti yange my friend unyumvire mu mwoka listen to me and in the spirit please. i'm not talking that pain is your twese uh, dufite imibabaro twabo problem no we have all experienced pain attention. but be careful gutsikamirwa kwawe because your oppression umubabaro wawe your pain ntuzahinduka ikibazo kubana should not become a problem to others oh yes give it to jesus ubohoke and be free wizera iman and trust god ikuyobore and he will guide you ubashe kugendana nayo wumva so that you might walk with him and listening navugaga ishuri rya eri i was talking about the class of vuga eli ishuri rya eri class of eli abantu benshi rero people many but people batizi ryo shuri but not been through that agatanga kambere the first step batigeze bagira uwo buba who do not had to respect someone batigeze bagira umuntu batinya mu nzu y'imana who did not have to respect someone in the house of god batigeze buba habati kana karaje araje tujye gusenga shaka ndandusha who never felt like oh so and so is coming we are going to pray because they know something that i do not that life will follow them and then as they felt to humble themselves to the word that's how their heart hardens not knowing and their heart is not broken their heart will not listen to god because they have seen it all and others what is this person telling me? and they are going to teach me and then after they will ask me for something oh yeah no, no, raise your hands please we are talking about reality and even if you do not say it but you have it in your heart yes yes we know you know 
And now they will end. And in their poverty, they will start attacking us. Why don't they start slowing the money? And they serve God having money. Am I lying? Let me tell you, my friend. Because in heaven, we look at each other. I, look at, I teach you knowing that we look at each other. Leave those things aside. Be humble. Even those who are online, whatever church you are into, be humble to Eli. Be humble. Accept that there is someone who knows better than you. Accept that there is someone who knows the way that you do not know. And if you do not accept anything on this world, where will you go? Yes. Our brokenness it starts there. Yes, Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And there will be people who know better than you. Amen. Amen. Your friends. They will pray and you will be surprised. They will give you a testimony and you won't well, even believe. And when you look at them, they are content. In the few they have, they are content. And yet in the lot you have, you are not satisfied. You are crying. Be humble. Yes, Hashim. In this life, all the classes God will take you through, there will be someone who is a master. There will be someone, there will be people that God has placed close to you for you to learn from them. Get the revelation and learn. And if you have problems, seek pastors. We are here. And there are disciples who are full of the Spirit, not standing here on the pulpit, but who can tell you that shows you're going to make is wrong. But foolishness, it causes you to run away from them. I will come two, three times, they will ask me. If I see his poverty, will I close my eyes? My friend, that is also a trial before you. There is a God who is looking at you. The Bible says, if helping the brethren, Give, give, if he's helping now you, share with, share with him what you have and he will share with you Uri what you have. Chafit. And everyone has something. I know that everyone has something to give to others. I can confirm Uri that. Kumge. Are we together? So do not skip the class of Eli. Do not skip the class of Priscilla and Aquila. They took Apollos with them and they taught him about the ways of the Lord. Yes, Hashim. Praise Jesus. Do you know that even Jesus was humbled to join the Baptist? Imagine that Jesus had to be humbled to join the Baptist. This morning I say, there are things that God uses to test us. God has placed laws there. God has placed there instructions and laws. Jesus said to John the Baptist, please accept to do this so that we might fulfill all the righteousness. Yes, Hashim. Praise Jesus. Benedad. My friends, when the Bible tells you to honor your father and mother, Uzabichai. how are you going to escape from that? Yes, Hashim. Praise Jesus. Nikoyavuz. That's what he said. He asked me to uh, respect Papa Tai and to be humble to him. He said, for a child to argue with the parents, the husband to argue with the wife, and vice versa, I gave that example this morning. Do not be loud. Just look, first look. In the word of God, what does it say? If you're a Christian, what does the word of God say? Yes, Hashim. Amen. 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 This morning I said, if a leader was to come here, uh, the leader of the country, that has been respected by the nation, and you see us bringing him and giving him the front seat, do not be loud. 
If you know the word of God, do not be loud. Those God has respected. Let us respect them. That's why. If you do not know what God has said, you speak. You keep speaking, you talk, you talk. No, Jamumana. But go to God. Koruziman. And know God. So know, God. know what He has seen. Know what He has confirmed. And build yourself on what He has said. And then He will plead for you. And He will be with you. But if you have uh, damaged things, if you're out of His word, His work is to bring you back. Come back to the truth. Yes, Praise Jesus. Uh, next. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we still together? Uh -huh. yes. The class of Eli, brother. I thank you because we learn it Samuel well. Now, Samuel grew up. And we saw him being a young man in listening to the voice. And we saw him as a young man who had not Ariko known God. Gukura. But he has grown later Baratubira on. Ngo, that Samuel got himself into knowing God. He was versed in prophecy. And from Dan to Beersheba, his word will be respected as God's word. God was pleased to go through him. I wish that in protocol team in Asha's time, I wish that God would be pleased to go through Imana you in the, in the seasons, to be pleased to go through you in the process, because you have versed yourself into that thing. But if you're not into it, no. may, he may, he help us. may he help me as well. Samuel chapter 7 verse 3. We read it yesterday. Samuel chapter 7 verse 3. Samuel chapter 7 verse 3. Samuel chapter then Samuel spoke to all the house of Israel, saying, If you return to the Lord with all your hearts, then put away the foreign gods and the Ashtoreth from among you, and prepare your hearts for the Lord, and serve him only, and he will deliver you from the hand of the Philistine. I'm talking about the one who was a child and who has received his inheritance. He has grown up. And he knows the uh, ways of the As Lord. He knows that the Israelites, from long ago, they had been told by God not to mix with the foreigners. It's written in the Bible. God had told them not to be mixed with the foreigners. Because the words say that when you Muzara mix with them, zao. you worship their God. And you have separated yourselves In from me. Zanyo, and I will not be fighting your wars. And you will be defeated by the Philistines. And you will be defeated by the Amalekites. Um, and the king of Assyria will attack you and I will rescue you. If you have decided to make meddle with the nations. And someone had known that God. Knowing God, what is it? Is knowing what he has said. And today this word has come to your ears. Doesn't God say to be transformed, to have a renewed mind and to have a mind separate yes. from the world? Yes, even in the New Testament we are told that. Do not behave like the people of the world. Because at the end you will cry. Let me repeat. Do not follow the people of the world. Do not measure yourself with the standards of the world. Do not use, be like them. Because they have no law against them. And the devil is not even attacking them. And they are his, they are his people. But you, when you go to them, and when you, you are united with them, you cry. 
uzarira you cry uzarira se ari umuntu ukurijije you cry because someone is making you cry no no izirazima no the ways of god ibyimana yahamije what god has confirmed kumenya imana knowing god kwibuka imana remembering god wibuka ko yavuze ngo ni wivanga nabo you remember that when he said if you be one with them bizagera igihe utazi wa wimana yawe it will come to a time when you won't know your own god uzahemukira imana yawe and you offend your god uzatera umugongo imana yawe and you turn your back to your god kandi nange cyo genza gutera umugongo and that time i also turn my back from you i will not fight your battles i will not fight your battles vuga ngo amen say amen samwe rarabibabwiye samwe told them that bari barakandamijwe n'abafilisti uziko abafilisti yabarabashenye barabiba isanduku y'uwiteka baragenda isanduku iragenda imyaka 20 ntabihamya they had been oppressed by the philistines the philistine had taken the ark of the lord and for 20 years the ark of the lord was not there the testimony was not there ariko mwabonye ko bakoraga nkuko wowe nange tujya dukora have you seen that they were doing just like you and i are doing kunambara at the battle bakaba bazi bati ni duhamagara ibihamya imana bikaba biraho hafi yacu turatsinda and they say if we call the those things that testify the presence of god then we will fight this battle and win it uko nuko ambara imana nk'imigi that is a clothing god like uh, ngo ntacyo bitwaye which craft tool say ndaba uko nshaka i will leave the way i want do things the way i want and when it comes to battles ndayihamagara i'll call him eh hey. naika kureba and he will look at you ejo ntitwari kumwe yes they were not together ashize ukwezi utambaza and for a month you have not asked me anything you didn't ask me anything for two months but my child that i love i love you koko wimpamagara uryo don't call me like that yugumana nange stay with me gumana nange stay with me nyumvira listen to me wimpunga do not run away from me hallelujah amen nibwo ababwiye ati namenye imana rero and he said i have known this god nimwitandukanya nibyo mwafashe if you separate from what you have taken iraza yiruka he will come to you nindu kinyumva who is still listening to Bugu me ugo tikwitandukanya say separating kwitandukanya separating ibanze ry'ibintu byose that's the basis of Nushaka everything if you want god to return uje yibaza uti nigize yiki you need to ask him what should i put away niki cyaje hagati yange nawe what is it that is between you and i umutima wange wagiye my heart where has it gone niki kintu cyakunyebye what is it that has stolen me no away from you no sengu kumva and when you pray you feel that god is Ishora far from you it's possible that you might be far because he wants Ariko to teach you ariko bishoboka ko wayiteye umugongo but it's possible that you have turned your back Zashoboka on him ariko bishoboka it's possible that you have turned your back on him bishoboka ko wayiharitse it's possible that you have uh, bring other Niki things that the gods what this is what the word said turangize rero now let us close arabigishije hanyuma samweli and then samuel eh wa mbere umunane ni jambo ryo munsi first samuel chapter 8 is the word for today ntabwo ejo natangiye ndi buvuge igitabo cya samuel yesterday when i started i was not going to talk about samuel imana yanyoboye ngo ni ngume hafa but that's how god has led me to still be there yeah icyanditswe bibiri bya nyuma Uh, the last two scriptures tunyarutse and let us do quickly ndabisomera rimwe then read it all avuge samwera amaze gusaza agira abahungu be abacamanza aba Israeli turarenga bari yoweri nundi umwe ariko abahungu be nti bagenda ni ngeso nkiza ahubwo bakiyo bagiriza gukunda ibintu bagahongerwa bagacurwa kibera ya Deuteronome kabiri ntuzagoreka imanza ntuzite ku cyubahiro cy'umuntu ntuzahongerwe kuko impongano ihuma amaso y'abanyabwenge kandi igoreka imanza z'abakiranutse The Bible says now it came to pass when Samuel was old and and when Samuel was old that he made his sons judges over Israel verse 3 but his sons did not walk in his ways but they turned aside after dishonest gain took bribes and perverted justice Deuteronomy chapter 2 verse 16 uh, chapter 16 verse 19 The Bible says you shall not pervert justice you shall not show partiality nor take a bribe for a bribe blinds the eyes of the wise and twist the words of the righteous yes ashim praise jesus nimfata iya ipad mumenye ngo ndashaka kuvuga bibiliya ko kwirimo if i take this ipad know that i want to talk about the bible because it's there 
Have you heard? Uteje kwa kwa kabiri. That Deuteronomy. Harima mateje kwa yimana ya wuzaga kuchimanza zihenga mye. There were laws of God that were against perverted justice. Mwumvi seko harima mateje kwa yimana ya yangi mhongano. Have you heard that there is a law of God that doesn't accept bribes? Niki nshaka kubabgiri. What do I want to tell you? Nshuti ziman. Friends of God. Hari igihe there is a time tukishuka ngo tuzimana we think that we know god kumenya imana but knowing god no kugira umwete kumenya ibintu byanditswe is having the zeal to know what is written please clap for jesus koko uziyobora niba utazi cy'imana yavuze because if you do not know what god said you lead yourself iyo utazi by'imana yahamije uziyobora if you do not know what god has confirmed you lead yourself uzaba umuhobele intagondwa kandi utarabihisemo you be a rebel and yet you did not choose that kutaza amategeko y'Imana because you do not know the laws of God kutaza ijambo ry'Imana because you do not know the word of God aho mwasomye haravuga ngo and where you read it says ngo Samweli ngo yajya gavugana n'Imana kenshi kamwiyereka ngo imwiyereka he mu ijambo ry'uwite that Samuel God used to reveal himself to him through the word of the Lord yes ashi Praise God. Ijambo ry'Imana. The word of God. Utegereje ijwi ry'Imana. When you wait for the voice of God. Ukajumva ngo akajwe gato. And you hear a small voice. Ngo kurota. And dreaming. Ngo kureba hanyuma Imana ikabiravuze. And seeing and God speaks. Reka nkubwire. Let me tell you. Ibyo bintu ushobora kumara igihe bitari byanze. For all those things it might take long before they come. Ibindi bikubwire ushobora kumara imyaka myinshi bitari byanze. I tell you there can be a long time before you hear any of those things. Imani dahisema kukwereka gutyo. What if God does not decide to show, to show you like that? But if you want information God. from heaven, here it is. If you despise the word, if you do not know what God has written, what will lead you? What will teach you? Those are those who say, I have dreamt. I have had this vision. I have seen. I have thought. And I thought. Muziko rimwe na rimwe bagira imana bikaba byo. Sometimes it might be true. Nange na baba. And I can be one of those. Wagira imana. When you're happy. Ariko ndashaka kukubwira ubwo buryo bwa nyuma bwo gukora bushaka kuba waratojwe kumva ijwi ry'Imana. But the second way of doing it requires you to be trained to listen to the voice Biza of God. Bizagusaba kuba waritoje guhora wera. It will cry to be holy. Uruvangye ruri muri ruwo urwigiza ku ruhande. And putting aside all the confusion and making sure you Kugira ngo ry'Imana muri wowe ryumvikane. So that the voice of God in you might be heard. Bamwe muri abo nabahanu Some of those are prophets and they have received it as a gift. Not because they do efforts. Not because they are wise. No, they were given to see. But other Christians stop thinking that I have seen. Stop saying that I have had a dream. Stop thinking that I thought. If you say to yourself, if you think, if you dream, just take it to God. Yeah, Muhammad. Please clap for God. Kugira ngo utavaho ufata ijwi ryawe nkaho ari ry'Imana. So that at the end you might not think that your voice is the voice of God. Utavaho umenyera ukibesha ku ibyo wabonye ibyo watekereje ibyo wibwiye ari Imana. So that you might not end up getting used thinking that what you think Ariko is of God. Ariko buhanuzi butavangiye n'ibyo Imana yahamije. But the pure prophecy is what God has confirmed in his word. Yanditse. His word that is written. Yes, Hashim. Praise Jesus. Samuel here They say that his sons are not working like him What do they do? They pervert justice and they take bribes Kandi kuva kera Imana yaravuze ngo muramenye muri mwebwe ni hazaba umuntu wemera impongano kuko ihuma amaso And God has said that among you no one should take a bribe because it makes your eyes not to see right Namwe uyu munsi bibasohoyeho And it has come to you because this word is still there impongano uh, dishonest game bribes it causes justice to be perverted impongano uh, uh, bribes impongano harimo no nubwo ko ni bribes ariko harimo no ku dishonest gain aha 
It burns the heart. And the God of all wisdom said it before any of you existed. Now be careful while you make justice and be right. Because uh, dishonest gain or bribes is not always money. It's not always corruption. It can be something very small that will cause your heart to burn. That's why if you have read the word of God, the sons of Samuel, God despised them. Let me close telling you. Do you know that when the Israelites did not want the sons of Samuel, they were right? In part, partially. Because those sons of Samuel, Samuel placed them there because they were his sons, but nowhere was it said that the sons of the judges would also follow them. We also need to listen to no. that. No. It was not a family thing. No. No. He placed them because they are not prepared people. And he placed there his sons. And those people, when they complained, they were right. But they were not right to bring trouble. Not right to bring trouble. No trouble. The God who called someone who have told him who told you to put there your sons. Do you think that God cannot call the sons of someone? Yes, yeah, no, he can. He can do that. Yes, yeah, mo, 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 uh, in, in his disciples of Jesus, there were Jack, J James and Jude who were uh, his disciples and brothers. But that was not the law brother no, that was working. It means that's how God in heaven had ordained it. Yes, Hashim. Praise Jesus. So somewhere he had done wrong. Now, People start complaining. They complain. Now, complaining, was it a reason good enough to have a king? No, Barbara. If you're sad, no, if you think that you, 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 you're being treated unjustly or unfairly, be careful that a, a sad heart will not cause you to make bad decisions. It's not because you're right that you have to shout. That you have to cause trouble in your home, in your friends, in your family. No. I tell you, even though you might be right, I tell you the truth, not because you have the, the truth that you have to cause yeah, trouble to those who do not know. Know. No, you need to go everywhere. I like to talk about the home so that I might also exhort those in the home. It does not mean that because you're right, you should cause trouble to everyone. I tell the truth, if you cause trouble because you're not happy, God will deal with you. I said it and let me repeat it. Where do I get it? From first Samuel. No. No, you If you're right, no, in your your home, home. if you're right in church, no, you if your position is no, right in the country, no, if at work you have no, the right no, opinion, no, behave as a noble person. No, Be noble person. We say do not destroy others because of your truth or your right. Because there is a God who asks you about that. There is a God who tell you, why didn't you bring this to me? The Bible says that Samuel, he was grieved because they asked him a king. He was grieved because he did not want to, they did not want to be led by him. And who did he take it to? To whom did he take it? To whom did he take it? To whom? To whom did he take it? To whom did he take it? And to you, to whom? To whom? To whom did he take it? To whom did he take it? Let us learn to take it to the Lord.
Learn to give it to the Lord. Faneza. Yes, die. Baba Ramuchinya Bupfur. Be grieved. In peace. You can uh, cry, but cry in the right way. In the right way, politely, as a Christian, do not defile. Do not defile. Do not defile the country because of your cries. May God help us. Samuel took it to the Lord. And yet they were right. And God said, let them. But tell them how it will be. Today I'm the one who prepared and this is the question I asked. But other days it was not me. We do it together. Have you seen where God lets people take their own ways and yet those ways are bad? Be, be fearful of that God. Have you seen where God lets them choose a king and yet he knows that their choice is wrong? What does it mean? He talks to you once and then he tells you how the king you have chosen will do to you and then he sends a neighbor and he speaks here in church and he tries all the way for you to understand the ways you have chosen Ukang. and you refuse. The Israelites said no. Just give us a king. Let us be like other nations. The word of God has said do not want to be conformed to other nations. And what were the consequences? God told them, this is the person you have chosen, what he will do to you. He will be a foolish king. And the sons of Eli were foolish. What is foolishness? Your daughters, your sons, and your camels, your fields, your servants, all of it will serve you. Foolishness is a king who was serving himself, not serving God who had placed him there. He said, will you bear with that? Will you bear with that? Being under someone who treats you like that. Let me close on this one. People from long ago, the way we are, uh, following a God that we do not see with our eyes, it's difficult. That's why the Israelites made a golden calf. Seeking a king, it's a figure that represents. It is no wonder that even today in the Church of Christ, people treat their pastors as if they are God. It's not right. Pastor is doing their own work. But they are not God. Your husband. He's serving God. He's your husband. But he's not God. Your wife. She's your helper. You're working for what has been said. But she's not God. The one who gave you a cow. A a cow in, in Rwandan culture. Be careful for that person not to be God. People, we are very fast in making a God for ourselves. And we have fallen, we fall in the same trap as Israel. And God is grieved. Because of that, friends of God, let me close here. Let us hear the voice of God. Let us seek to know God. Serving God. Let us know that God is not short of people to do, be for you and me. He knows that he calls us as poor people. And when we kneel down, he will tell us what to do. Day after day, call on God and say, I'm serving your people. It's possible that you might have gone to work to sustain your family, but you know that that door was opened by God. Speak to God. Say, I do not want to be a troublemaker in this. I want to work with you in this. And he will give you a blessing. If he sees that you fear him, if you obey him in that job, God bless you. We are going to pray. Jambo ry'Imana umutwe w'amagambo twavugaga wavugaga ngo ese 
our topic Benedict. for today was wakorera imana utaze can you serve a god that you do not know ko bibiri kwita ikigoryi because the bible will tell you if, will call you a foolish niyo mpamvu turo twigabibiriye that's why we, we are learning Go the bible umutima w'imana so that you may hear umva ibyimana yanga heart what he hates urebe ibintu yajya gihanira abantu and what he will punish people for uzirinde and avoid that uzagera ho ishima umuntu and you get to the point where uzagera ha nishima abantu you see where he appreciates people and you need to learn from um, that and know his heart and love what he loves and hate what he hates please stay seated and open nami manigira neza ngushimiye audience uyu munsi wowe nange twahawe ngushimiye abantu batwica imbere uyu munsi ariko kandi nange wambanje ndagushimira kuri kose uvuze ndagushimira ubuntu bwawe buseseka ya ndagushimira ibintu ukuye ku ijambo ryawe mwamiringira aho ryarambwe ngo muhamagara wa Omega ngo nugukuraho ikintu cyose gitandukanya abantu gitandukanya bizera ariko niki gutandukanya wowe no muntu mwami uyu munsi umaye ijambo rituma tukugarukira umaye ijambo rituma twigiza ibintu byose biba hagati yacu nawe reka mwami tugucire bugufi mwami duhe kumva ijwi ryawe turo tugukorera tumenye uriwe tumenye ibyo wahamije tumenye ibyo wandikishije twe kwishuka maze uduha umugisha wo kugendera mu ijambo ryawe mwami giye tutari twamenye iryo jwi tutari twamenya uwo mutima uri mwo wowe duhe kubaha ijambo ryawe duhe kubaha ibyanditswe duhe gushaka ibyanditswe duhe guhagarara mu byanditswe duhe kwitaho ibyo wahamije mwamurakoze mana Samuel yarakumenye agenda kura kumenya ngo wowe ubwawe umurimo wa muhayi urawurinda pe ngurinda ni jambo wa munyuzaga mu guko umurimo wa rugo kuvuga ijambo ryawe urinda amagambo ngo nta jambo yavuze ryataka yahase icyama ngo natwe twese imirimo waduhaye mwami uduhe autorite yawe uduhe mwami guhagarara neza no kuba bahanga mu byo waduhamagariye ni consenger wanteza amatwi wese du umutima uca bugufi dukiza imitima yinangira dukiza imitima mwami gugaraye duhe koroha mwami tworohera ijambo ryawe tworohera ukuri kwawe asigaye tuzamukane nawe mwizina ryawe rigera dusabye twizeye vuga ngo amen imani baho umugisha